hey guys before you get started with this video i'd like to announce that i have a javascript course uh that will be released very soon and if you would like to be um notified when that course is released then you should probably go to my website xenotrustacademy.com and sign up so that i'll let you know immediately the course is released uh the course is going to be packed with so many projects that will help your javascript journey thank you so much and let's get started hello once again my friends on the internet thank you so much for um checking out the part two of our series so basically if you are seeing this video this is the first video you're seeing of me building this particular website then i should probably say that the there's a previous video where i actually built all of this website um and i explained okay so i don't just code i actually explain what i'm doing okay so i'll leave a link in the description to the video and basically what we want to do in this video is we want to add um this scroll animation okay so you see that when i scroll like um down on the website you see um different parts of the website animating so uh, that's what we're going to learn how to do in this um, video okay so um, what i want you to do is um before we get to it right if you are new to the channel um i would like to encourage you to subscribe uh it helps me a lot and actually to leave a like on this video okay so thank you so much for that so um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open a new tab and i'm going to search for aos and github so actually what aos stands for is animation on scroll now let me just say at this point that it's not everything in you know javascript and building website that you actually have to build and code from scratch by yourself okay sometimes you can use a very small library that you know would not really affect the performance of your website and i'm going to show you how to do that now so i have searched for aos github and it's just a very tiny library that you can very easily use on your website so i'll scroll down here and i'll come to this site here so michael sneak.github.io and forward slash aos and then i'm just going to open it in a new tab okay so basically this is like a demo of you know the website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll down and as, as i'm scrolling down you see that the different parts of the website are animating so but i'm not going to waste time with that i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom so this is where you can find instructions to use this library it's a very tiny javascript library that you can actually benefit from so first off let's go ahead and copy the cdn so this is the css link i'll just highlight it and copy this and let's go to our html page i'll scroll up and let me paste it before my css so i'll paste that in let's come back here right and let's copy the javascript file so we can you can just highlight that and copy it and scroll down so because it's a script file we're always going to place it at the bottom of the page just before the closing body tag okay and i'm going to place it before my javascript okay like so all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to or let me just come here right yeah so this uh we're going to go to our javascript file right so uh where is my javascript file yeah this is it oh i have not saved it so let me save that okay i wonder why it took some time to save but that's fine so we're going to go to our javascript file right and we're going to just come down and add a comment i'll say uh page animation okay so the only thing i want you to do here is to say aos dot init oh i wasn't looking at what i was doing apparently so let me control z that so aos dot init right and open up brackets let me just do this and inside of the brackets you're just going to put your curly braces and you're going to set the duration okay I'm going to set the duration that's the duration it takes the animation to occur to 1000 which is like one second okay and i will save that all right so we're good to go now let's come back to 
this website right because i actually want you to see the instructions so i'm gonna come down okay right so this one that feeds in like from the right this is the what you need okay this is the class you need so you know what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this right and don't worry you see what i'm doing okay so let me just come to my website and you know what i'm going to apply it to this first services section so let me just come to my index.html and i'll go up to services section okay so this is my card yeah intro card this is the first card yeah so the first card right i'll just paste it in and wait, i think i did something wrong just now so Control z okay no i didn't do anything wrong i'll paste that in and i'll get rid of the uh something is wrong oh i know what happened let me put in the quotes okay so yeah this is fine now so for the first one i want it to fade in from the left right so let me just save that and see how what actually happens so okay no i want it to fade in right that's to the right so i'll say fade in right okay so let's just go ahead and copy this right and i'll apply it on the last card so this is the first card this is card two this is card three so you see why i actually labeled all of this i actually added comments to all of this it's easy for me to identify it so i'll say feed in left and i'll save now watch what happens when the page refreshes you see that this one fades into the right this one fades into the left oh i think i've messed up my css i don't know what i did but it's, it it I've messed up my CSS. Let me just see. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to debug that now. I'm sure you already you already you know have it correctly done. Okay. So now let's scroll down and let's apply animation to this section here, right? I don't even know the services section. So let me come down to the services section, and I think it's this one. So I'm just going to paste that in and i'll say fade up and if we save that maybe the which other one did i apply animation to this about section so i'll scroll down to the about section uh yeah so this is where i'm gonna place it i think yeah i'll paste that in there and i'll say fade up then last i'm going to apply to the blog section so let's come down to the blog section okay so blog container not the full section just the yeah the div with the class of blog and i'll paste that in and of course we'll change it to up and let's save that and see so i'll scroll up so you see the page reloads and you see that sliding animation and if i scroll down you see this also slides in like so and like so okay so basically that's how easy it is for you to add animation to this project but actually you can use this principle i've just showed you on how to use that um, animate on scroll library on any projects that you're actually working on and you see how easy it is to actually incorporate it and it doesn't really seem like it actually affects the um, speed of the website because you see i'm able to easily load the website and instantly loads okay so thank you so much for watching this um lecture if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and leave a like on this video and see you in another video all right bye guys